welcome 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 how are you all doing um i pray all is well listen i want to give this message to a few of you all and this message is your breakthrough is near we all know that spiritually when you're about to receive you know a promise right you're about to receive a promise something you've been praying for something you've been waiting for it seems like all hell starts to break loose in your life it seems like there are more distractions you know it seems like people that was not in your life before seem to want to come back around in your life it seems that um people on your job or your children or your family members are starting to act up and do all types of crazy things it seems that you know tension that is out of nowhere you know that comes from out of nowhere you know between you and your friend or you and your children but you have to keep praying you have to keep believing you have to spot things spiritually or you were or you would react naturally if you're not quiet in your spirit if you're not in a place to where you are understanding and um where you are understanding or you know like what's happening spiritually you will bite the bait you will get distracted so you can't get distracted in this moment you know you know i made this video to encourage you to help you to see that spiritually something is about to happen and don't mess it up for yourself because sometimes what we do when we are about to receive our breakthrough things go to happening and we get distracted we allow people and their issues to distract us from being focused to distract us from being prayerful because it takes a lot of faith it takes a lot of faith and it takes a lot of work that's why the word says faith without works is dead and that's just not believing. There are things you have to do to believe. Even if, say, even if I do have faith, right? Say I have faith. There's a level of work internally. You know, we think it's this natural work we have to do. And that's not so because the work that needs to be done naturally first has to be done spiritually. I just got that revelation. I just got that revelation. Faith without works is dead. You have to do work in the spirit first. You got to do things spiritually. So what you desire can manifest in the natural. So spiritually, what you have to understand is you have to work to not get distracted. You have to work to not pick up other people's burdens. Because if, if you're anything like me, I pick up other people's burdens and make them my own. And I had to learn to stop doing that. I had to learn to stop picking up people's issues because I'm I'm an automatic problem solver. I'm an automatic rescuer, you know? If if you understand this what I'm saying, you understand you're probably like this. You want to rescue people. You want to solve their problems. You want to make their life easier. That's innate in me. But I had to learn that that gift and that skill that I have, I can't do that all the time or I would wear myself out. I wouldn't be any more good. Sometimes you have to let God be God and only use those gifts when God unction you to. And I had to learn that. I had to know the difference between when I'm trying to rescue people and when God want me to be there for people. Because sometimes you can get in the way of what God is trying to teach someone. I've learned that. You can't, you are not going to always be there. You're not going to always be there. You can't always be there for people. They are going to have to learn things their own way. Your, your gift is to guide them. Your gift is to guide them. Right? So don't get distracted stay focused and know that your breakthrough is near be blessed